Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor presented by Profit Expressions team. I am Sanjay. We are learning Node.js with MySQL APIs. This is our part number 21. Inside this video session guys, we are going to define and call a stored processor in Node APIs. In our last videos, we had completed about the CRUD operations using APIs and database in which we had seen about insert command, update command, delete command as well as select commands. Now inside this video, we are going to firstly define about stored processor in our MySQL database. So in our online web tutor, we had created a playlist called stored processor. You can get about the complete details about that how can we create, how can we call what basically the parameters called in, out, in, out means parameters mode, all you can get from that from there. Now inside this video, we are going to directly create a stored processor and call inside our node APIs. Now if I back to YouTube channel, now this is online web tutor and inside this, if I scroll down, then we can find about MySQL stored processor right here inside this playlist. Now inside this 21 videos we can find about complete details that how can we work with the stored processor in phpMyAdmin we can get all the right informations from here. Now inside this video we are going to create our stored processor and call inside this node application. So let's understand what basically a stored processor is. A stored processor is small subroutines actually we can define inside our database label where we can perform any calculations as well as logical operations. So let's create our stored processor first. So back here, go to our MySQL database, go to SQL tab. Now we are ready to create our stored processor. So let's say delimiter. Let's say delimiter. And here, and inside this delimiter block, if I make some zoom, so inside this block, let's say create processor. And here we need to provide the processor name. So let's say get underscore user underscore detail. Now inside this stored processor, actually, we are going to pass our user ID. What basically or why we are making this? Actually, we are going to pass user ID to this stored processor and it will return the complete data what we have inside this TBL users. It will return that. So let's say that get user detail and we are going to pass a user ID inside this. So the parameter mode is something in let's say user underscore id and it should be int value type now go here we are going to start our block to write our code so begin and end and and delimiter here now inside this begin and end we are going to write our mysql statement so let's say select all from something tbl underscore users via id equal to this is the user id we are getting so copy that and pasting it here all we have done now we had created our stored processor now finally we are ready to execute and create inside this database so pressing ctrl enter now successfully we have created that so back to our database click on ok back inside this move and click on routine section Inside this, this is our first routine which is known as a stored processor. We have created that. So if we want to check about the execution of this routine, so click on execute and inside this, we need to pass a parameter. So let's see that if we pass the one value, click on enter and this is the first value means first row according to this ID returned by stored processor. Now let's call this a stored processor via node application. So go to our editor, scroll down. Let's say that, yeah. let's say calling stored processor. Let's say app dot get. 
let's say the route should be user detail and simply we are going to pass our user ID here so let's say function and inside this function we are going to pass our request and response object so let's say request and response back to this block let's say connection.query now inside this first argument we have to pass our means query so simply if we want to call any stored processor simply we need to write call and here stored processor name so the name we have called get user detail so copy that copy back to our application and passing here now inside this stored processor we need to pass user id so i am to put placeholder so here a placeholder which basically refers about the user id now inside this array we need to pass our user id so let's say that inside this function let's say error it should be something result and let's say fails here now let's get about the user id from the requested url so let's say where user id equal to let's say request dot params dot let's say id now this is the id actually we are getting from the url and putting inside this variable and passing this variable inside this query now inside this connection block let's say that if we have some error so error so throw into console error otherwise let's say response dot json and all we are going to put inside this json format so if we check about the result variable inside this callback function and right here this variable we are getting and putting inside this response all we have done now so if we copy this route back to chrome browser let's say that localhost and we are running our application at 5000 port and let's say that user detail and after user detail we need to pass our user id so let's say one value so pressing enter now as we can see here we are getting all the data about first number id again back to our database click here go to tbl users and inside this tbl users we have second row third row and tenth number id so if i put about 100 number id sorry 10 number id pressing enter now this is tenth number details now we want only this result not about all the informations about call fields as well so back to editor let's say that we want all the data about zero number index so by writing zero here actually we are going to filter our data from this result set so reload this page now only we are getting about the informations about respective user so if i press second number id this is second number details if we pass about the third and this is third number id user details so successfully guys actually we had defined our stored processor inside this node underscore db database and also we had called about that stored processor right here inside this node application and the stored processor that we have developed which is taking our user id inside that so inside this video session guys if you went out then please stop your comment i will give my reply as soon as possible so for this video session guys thank you for watching and have a great day